to find the pH value. Today we will find the pH value of the following samples by using pH paper or universal indicator. Dilute hydrochloric acid solution. Dilute sodium hydroxide solution. Dilute ethanoic acid solution. Tap water, lemon juice, dilute sodium bicarbonate solution. Theory The nature of a solution is determined by the concentration of hydrogen or hydronium ions and hydroxide ions in aqueous solution. If a solution has more number of hydrogen ions, H positive or H3O positive ions in it, is said to be acidic while an aqueous solution having more hydroxide ions OH negative in it is basic. The solution having same concentration of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions in it is said to be neutral. The hydrogen ion or hydronium ion concentration of a solution is expressed in terms of pH. pH is defined as the negative logarithm of hydronium ion concentration in mole per liter. pH is equal to minus log H positive or pH is equal to minus log H3O positive. pH scale extends from 0 to 14. Acidic solution H3O positive greater than 1.0 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 mole pH less than 7. Basic solution H3O positive less than 1.0 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 mole pH greater than 7. Neutral solution H3O positive is equal to 1.0 into 10 raised to the power minus 7 mole pH pH is equal to 7. Let us do an experiment to find the pH value of the following samples by using pH paper or universal indicator. Dilute hydrochloric acid solution. Dilute sodium hydroxide solution. Dilute ethanoic acid solution. Tap water, lemon juice, Dilute sodium bicarbonate solution. The aim of this experiment is to find the pH value of the following samples by using pH paper or universal indicator. Dilute hydrochloric acid solution. Dilute sodium hydroxide solution. Dilute ethanoic acid solution. Tap water, lemon juice, Dilute sodium bicarbonate solution. The materials required are test tubes, test tube stand, dropper, pH papers, pH color chart, universal indicator, watch glass or glazed tiles, given samples of dilute hydrochloric acid solution. Dilute sodium hydroxide solution. Dilute ethanoic acid solution. Tap water, lemon juice, dilute sodium bicarbonate solution. Procedure. Take six clean and dry test tubes and mark them A, B, C, D, E and F. Take samples of Dilute hydrochloric acid solution. Dilute sodium hydroxide solution. Dilute ethanoic acid solution. Tap water, lemon juice, dilute sodium bicarbonate solution in these test tubes. A to F separately and arrange them in a test tube stand. Take six strips of pH paper and arrange them on white tiles or glazed paper. With the help of dropper, take out one drop of dilute HCl from test tube A and pour it on one pH paper strip and compare the change in color of pH strip with the pH chart. Record the pH value and change in color 
in the observation table against sample A. Perform the same experiment by using fresh dropper each time with the remaining samples from test tubes B, C, D, E and F. Compare the change in color of pH paper and record the observations in the table against each sample. Observations Here we observed that the color of the strip A is red that is matching with the pH 1 of the universal indicator color chart hence it is acidic in nature. Color of strip B is matching with pH 14 hence it is basic in nature. Color of strip C is matching with pH 7 hence it is neutral in nature. Color of the strip D is matching with pH 2. Hence, it is acidic in nature. Color of the strip E is matching with pH 3. Hence, it is acidic in nature. And the color of strip F is matching with pH 9. Hence, it is basic in nature. Precautions Test tubes should be neat and dry before use. Use separate dropper for each sample. Never touch pH paper strip with wet hand. Never touch and taste the chemicals in laboratory. Prepare solution of samples in distilled water. Note: The color change in pH paper after adding the sample to it may be slightly dark or fade to the color of pH chart. Write exact value of pH in table as per mentioned on pH chart. Never write a range of pH value. Thank you ma'am. You have given a great knowledge through this experiment.